Yeah. Yeah. You pigs! Don't touch me, or I'll kill you! Go to hell, you Tatar beast! Go to hell, you Tatar beast! Go to hell, you Tatar beast! Left. Talmurg is to the left, along the stream. Véget, te genyó! Szétszav dallak, te fustalicska! Kibalázz lak, te fals! Ja! My girl, like that too does. Warn the others. They tore the pallets. Yeah. God said, Jeff, run for yeah. it. Go get it, Gunny. Help! 
quickly, everyone. Get your asses here. Hey, and loose. Someone give him a drink, and bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy, who are you, and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tatars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Who is that? I, I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir.
You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. I hear you came from Scarlet's today. It must have... It was a fine sunny day until Sigismund came with his army. I saw him sitting there with his red beard and proud posture as he gave the signal to attack. Oh, no. I ran to the castle for shelter with the others. Behind me I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. Then I turned and saw father trying to save mother. They... they were both killed. The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help I made it. My God, that's horrible. You were lucky to survive. And our thanks for warning us. I'll pray that you see better times. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honoured. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes, thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. <laughs> <laughs> 